If you own an EC and it has reached MOP, is it time to sell? Hello, my name is Bel Tan. Today, let's explore this topic deeper. Executive condominiums has been a part of the Singapore housing landscape since the 1990s. As of beginning 2023, there are 67 completed ECs and 8 uncompleted ones. ECs are sold at lower launch prices compared to private condos, but later, when they are sold on the resale market, they can reach similar pricing as private condos, thus making them very attractive. ECs are subject to the 5 years MOP, during which an EC owner cannot lease or sell the unit. After the MOP period, the unit can be sold to PRs and Singaporeans. After 10 years, an EC project is privatised and can be sold to foreigners. Let us first see the price trends for some older ECs, TOP in 2003, which means they reached MOP in 2008, and how they have performed. Bishan Loft, The Eden at Tampanese, The Dew in Bukit Batok, and Lilydale in Ishun. Around their launch periods in Q3, Q4 2001, they were transacting from 353 to 425 PSF. By the time they reached MOP in 2008, they have reached 463 to 658 PSF, an increase of 31 to 55%. When the ECs are 10 years old and foreigners are eligible to buy, we see an additional increase of 52 to 82 in their price. Beyond 10 years, the high growth starts to slow down. From the above, the best period to sell will be when the ECs have privatised at around 10 years old. Let's now look at a newer batch of 6 ECs TOP in 2014, MOP 2019. Arc at Tampanese, Osview Residences in Sengkang, Belisa in Pasiris, Blossom Residences in Bukit Panjang, and River Park Residence in Pongo. Last but not least, the Canopy in Ishun. When they were launched in 2011, the average PSF ranged from 659 to 736. When they reach MOP, they have increased by 18 to 25%. Now in their eighth year before privatization, all have further increased by another 19 to 36%. And this increase is bigger than the first increase at MOP, except for up at Tempest. So, if we take the cue from the first batch of older ECs, we might possibly see a much bigger growth when the ECs reach their 10th year. To sell or to wait? This very much depends on your objective of selling. For example, if there's another project with better potential for you to put your funds in and grow your capital further, it might make more sense to exit than wait. Let's take a look at the absolute figures to see what kind of profits we are talking about. River Park profits are as high as 732k. Blossom Residence is not far off at 705k, Belisa at 690k, and the Canopy at 443k. Not bad, isn't it? If cashing out allows you to reallocate your funds in a more efficient way, it is worth considering. If you need more advice on how to build your capital further or what to do after selling your EC, do contact me, Bell Tan, and I will be pleased to discuss further with you. See you in the next episode.